Hi, I'm Brian LeBlanc. And if you're watching this video right now, it means that I'm in your care. I have Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia, plus type 2 diabetes. So, uh, might need some help in, uh, in getting all that stuff under control or keep it as under control as we possibly can. Um, I want to tell you some things about me so that maybe caring for me will be a little bit easier. The first thing is that I want opportunities to do things myself. We call that don't do be, meaning don't be so quick to jump in and take over something that you feel I can't do by myself and you jump in and do it for me. That's gonna do nothing but frustrate me. Give me a chance. And if I need your assistance, I'll do my best to ask or show you some sign that, I, that I'm requesting your help. I want access to my music. Now, I, I've sung all my life. I play guitar. I'm not sure if I'll have my guitar with me or even if I'll know how to play the guitar. But if it's there, I might want to play it. But my music is going to be on my phone. And I have different types of playlists. Everything from country to rock to love songs to uh, instrumentals. I have a little bit of everything. Music tends to calm me. So if I'm feeling anxious, or if you see me uh, in some sort of despair, play some music for me. That helps me to get out of my funk or get out of my anxious moods. If you can get me outside, I love, love being outside. I don't wanna be cramped up in my room 24 seven. It's just not healthy. I need to be out, feel the sun on my face, or feel the cool breeze, watching squirrels, listening to the birds sing. I like conversation. Don't talk to me or talk at me. Converse with me. Ask me how I'm doing. There might be days where I can actually answer you. And there could be days where I'm not able. You'll understand and as you get to know me what day, what kind of day I'm having. Photos. I have literally taken thousands and thousands of photos. Um, hopefully I'll have them in an album or if they're not on an album, they'll be digital, digital, I can't say the word, digitalized on my, on my phone or whatever type of apparatus I have uh, when I'm in your care, your care community. Show the photos to me and, and let me look at them because I may not be able to recall where I was or what I was doing, but I'll remember the feeling that it gave me. And that's what's important, is the feeling. I don't want people hovering over me. I want to be left alone sometimes. That's important. Um, if I have people hovering over me, that's gonna make me feel like something's wrong, which is gonna raise my anxiousness level, and that that's never good. <laughs> um, I want opportunities uh, to visit family members, friends. I'm not really sure if I'll have family members left, um, well, for my immediate family, uh, because my, my sister and my brothers are all older than me. So I'm not really sure who from that 
part of my family will be available. Maureen will have access 24 seven to me. And I ask you very nicely, let her have access to me 24 seven. I need her because I love her. She was my care partner and she was also my life partner and she still is. So one thing about Maureen is don't upset her. <laughs> you won't like that side of her. She cares fiercely for me and I care and love fiercely for her. Our love goes deeper than you can even imagine. So I'm just giving you fair warning. Um, I want opportunities to sing. I want opportunities to still take photos. When I'm sitting outside and I see something that I want to take a picture of, I'm going to take a picture of it. So please, if you see me trying to get up, it's probably for that reason. Please help me. Help me to stand. Help me to get up out of the chair or wherever I'm sitting. I want to take a picture of something. Now, if you want to make me happy, keep me uh, stocked with peanut butter, ice cream, and coffee. I know I have diabetes, but, you know, look. <laughs> I want to go out happy. So, it's okay. Because if you don't get it for me, Maureen will bring it in for me. I don't want, okay, let's put it this way. I love hugs. I think they're wonderful. But I don't want strangers coming up to hug me. That's going to freak me out a little bit. I don't know these people. If I'm introduced, get to know them a little bit, form a relationship, that's fine. I hope to form a relationship with you. So if you want to form that relationship and then come give me a hug, that's perfectly fine. But having total strangers coming in my room, hugging me as if they knew me for years, sorry, they don't. And that's going to sort of freak me out a little bit. As long as I'm cognizant, continue to allow me to educate and advocate. You see, right now, I am an international Alzheimer's advocate, and I go around the country and in Canada talking to people that want to learn what is it like to live with Alzheimer's? How do you get through a day? How do you cope? If I could be of any service to the care community that I'm living in, please let me. Please let me do what I've done for so many years because that will help keep me alive inside. TV shows. I love football. Now I realize that I'm in Florida right now and my favorite team is where I'm originally from, and that's the New Orleans Saints. I'm not sure what football is going to look like by the time I'm in the care community, but I like to watch football. I also like Disney. Ask anybody that knows me about how many times I've been to Disney. It's a lot. Um, I'm a kid at heart when it comes to that. So, with that said, I like Disney movies. If you could play those for me, that would be awesome. Any comedy show. Now, I know I have some shows listed here like Will and Grace, Friends, Last Man Standing, Cheers. You may have to Google those to find out what those are. But, um, you know, it's okay. If there's something current that's funny, or if there's a movie that's funny, I love to laugh. It does make me happy. Laughter is the best medicine. So, that's about it. 
the last thing I would like to say again is when it comes to Maureen, she is my heart and my soul. She is my strength. She is my care partner and my life partner. We found each other when we were both at the age of almost 60. And we're not letting each other go. I want her by my side as much as possible. Please accommodate her. As I said before, 24 seven access to me. I need her in my life just as much as she still needs me in hers. So thank you for watching this. If you have any questions, just ask Maureen. She'll tell you exactly what needs to be done. She'll fill in the blanks. Thanks for watching this. I hope it helps. And I hope we have a wonderful, wonderful relationship, you know, for as long as it lasts. Thank you.